Hello and welcome to this quarterfinal matchup between the Roger State Hillcats and the Pittsburgh State Gorillas. Roger State comes in as the two seed in the MIAA Conference after a great season. Currently ranked 15th in the nation at 23-5. On the other side, however, we have the Pittsburgh State Gorillas trying to make their Cinderella run here. 10 seed Gorillas coming in at 12-17. and 17. And let's just jump right into the starting lineups for this matchup. I'm Ivan Walter. Alongside me, Omar Alvarez. Omar, this looks to be a good matchup between Roger State and Pitt State. What are we looking for tonight? You know, we're talking about two different styles of play here. Roger State collectively play at a very high level as a team. And on Pittsburgh State side, you got they rely on a couple players, and they won't be able to do that against Roger State. It's a very tough Roger State team. They're going to have to use their bench and show their depth if they want to pick up this upset. Let's take a look here at the starting lineups for both of these teams. First up, we have number four for the Hillcats, Chet Sternberger. And then on the other side, we have number three, Jacoby Womack, followed by number five, Marquis Sumner for the Hillcats. And then number 11, Marcel Cherry for the Gorillas. Also lining up for the Hillcats, we have Davis, Peacock, Pereira, and then for the Gorillas, Xavier Womack, Walker, and Christian Edmondson. Like we talked about, going to be a tough game for the Gorillas. They come in as the clear underdogs, but after a huge overtime win in the last game against Nebraska Kearney, the Gorillas trying to build on that momentum, but like we talked about, Roger State 23-5, and five, a big tough matchup. A lot of a lot of depth for them on one side. They don't have a lot of guys who average a crazy amount of points because they do such a good job sharing the wealth. And then on the other side for Pittsburgh State Gorillas, you have one or two guys who you know they're going to try to get the ball to. A.J. Walker and Jacoby Womack. And you got to remember, Pittsburgh State gave Roger State a run for their money despite being ranked 15 in the nation. They only lost by eight in early or late January earlier this season. Yeah, an 80 to 72 final score for that one. Only 10. It's manageable, but the Hillcats have been having their way so far in this one. As the layup is no good, and then it'll eventually be rebounded by Ray Elliott. And now a chance to break this one back into single digits. Pittsburgh trail by as many as 15. And like I said, the ability to, they're going to have the chance to cut it down to single digits. Well, that's what Pittsburgh's known for, building themselves huge deficits, but somehow being able to claw back into a lot of games. They play from behind very often. Like we've already talked about, 12 and 17 on the year as Marcel Cherry knocks down. What a shot. Hands all up in his face and made it look easy. Looks like he had to double clutch that one as a foul is going to go. I'm going to say that's against Antonio Givens. Not sure. Yeah, I think that one was an, on Antonio Givens, and Brewster Peacock will hit the line for some free throws. Brewster Peacock. What a unique name. Never heard a name like that, but he's showing that he's a fantastic basketball player. He's brewing up some threes. <laughs> Two for four thus far for six points from beyond the arc. Not a bad pun there. See here, <laughs> Brewster doing a great job getting to the line, drawing contact. His second free throw is up and is good. Beautiful free throw shot, nothing but net. And now the Gorillas trail by nine. Cherry with it, swing it over to Ray Elliott. And Gorillas will eventually break the press, and now A.J. Walker has it. You want to see him get it going if they're going to get back into this ballgame as Marcel Cherry knocks on another. Goodness gracious. Another three-point bucket with a hand right in his face. How does he do that? That's just so Ivan Walter alongside Omar Alvarez. Omar, it's just been a, such a fun contest in this one. Roller coaster of emotions, like I mentioned earlier. You almost got to wonder what Kim Anderson, the two-time MIAA coach of the year, has drawn up and what is the biggest game of this tournament for Pittsburgh State? Well, if you ask me, you got to get the ball to Marcel Cherry. He's had a fantastic performance and a lot of clutch shots with a lot of defense in his face. We're going to see something here as we've got a review on the floor for something. I'm not sure what they're looking at, but either way, the Gorillas going to need something miraculous to get this one. Wouldn't it be the perfect ending to a perfect night for their Cinderella run? 10 seed coming in, 12 and 17 on the year, uh, under 500, you know. Nobody expected them to play this team this close as Roger State, the number 15 team in the entire nation. Overall, Pittsburgh State has played a great ball game. Didn't let the fact that they were down by 15 phase them early. They were able to claw their way back against the number 15 team in the nation. 
The review was to add some time to the clock. 2.7 now to go as full court passes up and is caught. And, oh, it's going to be turned over. And that'll be the, oh, sorry, they're going to say a travel. Oh, a travel is going to be called. And now they're going to go to the review board. And, oh, what a what a turn of events this could be as Tavian Davis, when he caught the ball, when he got the ball, he just walked with it. Time, I don't think time had expired yet, and that's what they're going to go for the replay for. What a turn of events. Yeah, you see there, just walking away with the ball. Oh, goodness. And Yeah, that was clearly before the buzzer. I think they're going to put at least some, some time on the clock. At least a second is what it looks like. Just enough time to catch and shoot. Well, I, I think the gorillas were going for the full court to catch and just go for a timeout maybe, but it looked like Edmondson or Cherry could have caught it and maybe had an easy layup to tie the ball game, and now... Davis with a couple of clutch free throws and then a just a unfortunate turnover here. 